is Mike Kostash. I'm uh, from Los Angeles, and I'm a member of uh, Tech Coast Angels, which is the largest and oldest uh, network of angel investors. We're based in Southern California. We have five chapters, and it's been around for 20 years. I've been a member, uh, fortunately, only for five years, but it's been a great experience, and uh, I'm glad to be here. I am uh, looking to not have my fifth unicorn that I miss. That's what I'm looking for. I've missed on uh, four big unicorns that I was there at a conference in the past 20 years since I was a student, and I was trying to be an entrepreneur, and then I was an investment banker, then I was a venture capitalist, and I'm trying to make sure I don't miss the fifth one. I, I love Eastern Europe. I happen to be born in uh, Romania, where I spent the first 11 years of my life. So anything with Eastern Europe, I want to help this region uh, create another Skype, another multi-billion dollar exit. So uh, if, if the technology is started here or if the technology is outsourced here, it's even easier for me to understand this part of the world. Well, so far, I'm already getting a headache. I, I've been here only for, for half a day, and uh, I've collected this many cards, and I've given that many cards, so about 15 cards. But uh, so far, I think it's great. Uh, you guys reached out and, uh, four months ago. I had one of the startups that I'm uh, advising on, uh, on AngelList, and that's how I learned about your conference. The, I was hit among those thousands and thousands of startups that you guys invited. So uh, that's how I learned about it. And then I was invited to be a speaker. So I think it's great, you know, 2,500 people in one place talking about money and technology and uh, business development and partnerships. I think it's great. So I love these type of, uh, of events. It's a lot of headache and uh, you have to be very, very fresh. You, you know, you can't go party all night and then expect to be uh, uh, fresh in the morning here. So. I think what's best at the Wolf Summit this year, and it's the third year, so congratulations on that. But I think what's best here is the energy in the air. It's like you feel all this uh, younger people and older people trying to make the next billion dollar company. And, and I'm telling some people, look, try to make your first venture to be maybe a 20, 30 million dollar company. Don't try to be a billionaire because you, 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 know, you may be uh, uh, depressed if it doesn't work out. So try to have stepping stones. Mm. I, have, I have a few companies in my portfolio that uh, I'm proud of. I have some that have lost me quite a bit of money and other people money in that round. But uh, those that I'm very proud of are in the middle of uh, being acquired. So uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, what the number will be in, uh, in a few months. Uh, my speech tomorrow at 10 a.m. is on how to raise money in Silicon Valley and in Southern California, because even though it's the same state, California, the biggest state in America with 38 million uh, residents, it's like two different states. Northern California and Southern California should be two different states because different mentality. But uh, the, the quick answer to how to raise money in Southern California versus Northern California is simple. The valuation for the same startup with the same management team in Southern California is half of the valuation in Northern California for a simple reason. There's more money in Northern California, and there's more deals and there's more money thrown at deals in Northern California. So people are a little bit more arrogant up there, so to speak, on their valuation. Well, the bridge between Eastern Europe and the US is being created here at Wolf Summit and such conferences throughout Eastern Europe, because without these conferences, people wouldn't be able to meet US speakers and US investors. So I think it's great that, uh, that you guys are creating the bridge. You're creating the nest for people to have this entrepreneurial understanding of how things are done on, on both sides of the world. Uh, so the, the, the link is fairly thin right now. There's a few Eastern Europeans that have moved to America, Boston, New York, Dallas, LA, San Francisco, and they've successfully failed to survive there for three, four, six months and figure out how it works, go there to conferences, participate, pitch, 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 meet advisors and investors. And, and they are creating the, 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 the connection between Eastern Europe and America. But it's these kind of conferences that really create the bond that then more people will go there and then more Americans will come here for the brains. Okay, so first of all, money was invented by people, right? What is the definition of money? Huh? It's the behavior of, right? I mean, it's a, it's a medium of exchange, first of all. But what, what is economics? It's the behavior of money within a society, right? What is psychology? It's the behavior of human beings. So the definition of money, it's the byproduct of somebody's efforts, and it's just a, it's just a, it's nothing. It's going to disappear anyway with all the blockchain and the hundreds and hundreds of digital currencies anyway, maybe five years, maybe 10 years, maybe 100 years out. Nobody knows how many, probably not five years, but um, so definitely people, because people are the ones who build the technology. People are the ones who carry it forward, and it's always about the execution, right? Technology by itself, sitting in a, in a cloud, nobody using it, it's not worth anything. 
money sitting in a bank account, it's not worth anything. But it's the people that take technology and money and execute on a model that other people benefit from, and therefore you create more money. So, so startups chasing the money is not a smart thing because there's lots of money, okay? Startups should be chasing for advisors, good and more team members to make the team better, right? And the money will come. But it's all in, in a time frame. So every industry or every segment of communication or collaboration or anything or mobile or all these buzzwords that keep coming up, blockchain and fintech and agricultural and edtech and all this, these are all have time frames. So, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a bell curve of the, the original, you know, risking people. And then, it's the, and then there's the me too. Okay, so you have to be here at the beginning of the bell curve. And, and that's really all I could tell people is you, you can't chase the money. I want money, I want money, I want money. It doesn't help. If you find the right advisors and the right team and you develop more than an MVP, then the money will come to you. But you got to be focused on the timing of where you are. Are you an early entrant? Are you a, oh, there's 50 people, let me be like them? Or, oh, I've read that this company got sold for $500 million to, uh, to Amazon, and therefore I'm going to create something, a copycat. You're already very, very, very late in the bell curve down here. So do something else. Uh, I've been to Warsaw uh, once two years ago for uh, the uh, Financial Times uh, Central East Europe uh, Real Estate Quality Awards, the CEQA Awards, which was a great party. Everybody was wearing black tie at the Soho factory. And um, I was just here for two days. I have two good friends from college, from uh, Los Angeles, where we went to college, who live here in, uh, in Warsaw. So I came here two years ago to visit them, and we were uh, nominated for an apartment building that we built in Bucharest uh, for that conference. So I was here for three days that one time. Now I'm here for less than 24 hours, but I came this time to stay for four days. And I will, be, I will have a much better opinion about uh, Warsaw. One thing that was shocking to me two years ago is when I learned 96% of Warsaw was destroyed after World War II. I, I didn't know that, and that, that was a, a shock to me to see now how it's a flourishing economy. And it is the biggest economy in the 16, 17 countries of Southeast Central Europe. So, you know, I look forward to seeing more of it. I look forward to dancing on the bars tonight at, uh, <laughs> at the Capital, yeah, the nightclub. So uh, it's going to be fun.